Hi guys, today I am going to discuss about variables in Python. Actually, I divided this concept into five parts. Really, this variable variables concept is very vast in Python. You have to understand a lot. Okay, so let us discuss briefly first what is variable. Variables are containers for storing data values. And if you want to create a variable in Python, actually Python has no command for declaring a variable. A variable is created the moment you first assign a value to it. Example x equals to 10, next y equals to wait a minute, y equals to hurry. Next, if you want to print what mistake, yes, print x. Print by what you get output. You get ten and hurry. Yes, this is our output. Next, here variables do not need to declare with any particular type and can be even change type after they have been set. Example. Here example, I will make it as comment line. These all things you know right how to make it as comment line, multi line. Okay, done over. Next, come to this next point. Next, uh, x equals to five. Next, uh, x equals to thirty. Here it is. Uh, here, x. Where x is int here x is x is string now you see the output what you get print x the output for this is hurry just execute save it and execute what you get see hurry next casting Casting is nothing but if you want to specify the data type of a variable, this can be done with casting. Example x equals to 3. I uh, send print x. What you get output is x equals to 3. Okay, I will make this, this also comment line for more understanding. Purpose. Okay. As equals to 3 here, print x. What is this uh, x type? This integer, right? Let's type the type type of type of x. Now you see the output. See, it's int type. If you want to make it as this x has string, then all, what you have to do means x equals to str of string function of x. You see the output now. See, it, it, 3 is converted to string now. Likewise, caching is very important. We have a lot of cachings here. I mean, you can here it can be implemented float, int. And if you want to get the type, e type uh, one function called type function, the x equals to five, next uh, y equals to ten, next uh, z equals to hurry. If you want to type, if you want to get the uh, type of the variable. Type of x x y and z
now you save it and you get output now see int int string let the end like so 10.5 Int float string. Then, okay, let's implement another. Let's go to another topic. Here I'm using multi line comment. Okay, next, single or double quotes. Single or double quotes. Wait a minute, sorry. I'll make it as comment level if you understand. Single or double quotes. For example, x equals to Hari. I'm using here double quotes. I'm printing now. Print x. What do you get output? Yeah, it's working Hari. Okay. Next, y equals to I'm using a single code string. I'm using okay. Let us print this y print y. What you get output? Let's see. So it's working. You can use double code or double code or single code. Let us check whether you can use triple code or not. It's z equals to. Just wait a minute. Let's check whether it's working or not. Just press R. Okay. Just say it. Print the jag. Yeah, it's working. You can use the triple code also. Wow, it's a nice concept. Next, really, Python is a sensitive. Yes, Python is case sensitive. I will show you the example also. Example, we take a equals to 5. Next, capital A equals to. Wait a minute, sorry. A equals to. Hurry. Let us print these variables. Let's see the output what you get. Wait a minute, some new syntax. Oh, let's do it as comment right here. See, five are let's I'll delete base output. You can understand easily. See by hurry. Here, what I mean, what I mean tell me is here capital A will not overwrite A. Understand? Okay. Now you have you understand the this all basic concepts. Next you will go to the variables part two. Please watch the video also. You can understand easily. Thank you. Have a nice day.